right, everyone. Welcome back to the land of Kem. I am your host and the author. My name is Jeffrey Drum. Thank you all so much for joining me again. All right, everyone, welcome back. Now, today, we will proceed with this epic series, revealing in depth the mechanisms of operation driving the ancient Egyptian pyramid chemical engineering technology with the first installment explaining the function of the bent pyramid. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, thank you all so much for the support. I think that is it for today's intro. So without further ado, let's get right to it. All right, everyone, here we go with tonight's episode. Now to begin the hypotheses presented here on the channel regarding the function of the bent pyramid, go deep into the land of chem vaults back to episode six and most recently in episode 145. And if you are new to the channel, I highly recommend working your way through the Bent Pyramid playlist to get caught up, as all of these old episodes will provide essential details that will be referenced in the upcoming videos, with the basic premise regarding the function of the Bent Pyramid being the conversion of the aqueous ammonia product and CO2 byproduct of the Red Pyramid into a solid compound fertilizer known as ammonium bicarbonate. The final product may have also been urea, depending on the complexity of the temperature and pressure dynamics in the primary reaction chamber. Urea requiring higher temperature and pressure, whereas ammonium bicarbonate can be produced simply at ambient temperature and pressure. And this is exactly what we do today in our modern chemical engineering facility design, where the ammonia plant is located directly next to the ammonium bicarbonate or urea facility to convert the carbon dioxide and ammonia into solid compound fertilizers, which is the primary application for these ammonia-based products. But we will dive a bit deeper into the uses of these chemicals in just a moment. And I'll also be returning to the alternative products of the bent pyramid, specifically urea, and to my second hypothesis, regarding the function of the bent pyramid that the ammonia was being converted into nitric acid in a series of reactions that resemble our modern day Oswald process. As explained recently in members only episode 11, the first time that I've discussed this secondary hypothesis with the primary application for the nitric acid being the production of aqua regia, a solution that can be utilized for the extraction and processing of gold. All right, everyone, just a quick announcement. The first book in the Land of Chem series is now back in stock. This gorgeous Egyptian blue second edition is the exact same text as the first print, but now featuring the new blue color design. Also, a brand new merch shop is up and running, featuring all of your favorite logos, tons of new color options, and my personal favorite, stickers. So whether you are sticking these to the bottom of your skateboard or plastering the walls of your office bathroom stalls, go grab some now and put them everywhere you can find a spot, all available at thelandofchem.com. Thank you all so much for the support. Now, back to the video. And I'll be coming back to both of these alternative functions and products, urea and nitric acid in an upcoming episode. But first, let's go back to the simplest product to manufacture with the exact same initial reactants of aqueous ammonia and carbon dioxide, which is ammonium bicarbonate, and its application for fertilizer. Remember from back in episode 72, the alchemical symbolism of ancient Egypt, and most recently in episode 156, the function of the Red Pyramid Part 1. I explained how our modern word for ammonia traces back to the name of the deity Amon, the god of fertility, which is an ancient alchemical reference and symbol to these ammonia-based fertilizer compounds, with Amon here being depicted with sheaves of agricultural material growing out of his crown. And just like the chemical reaction that occurs naturally during a thunderstorm, where Mother Nature uses the lightning deity to convert the air into atmospheric fertilizer, the pyramids of Dashur, the Red Pyramid and the Bent Pyramid, were designed to capture this same reaction, creating the fertilizer deity, Amon, for the vitalization of agricultural areas that were being terraformed in the Upper Eastern Sahara 
during the Saharan wet period, where rainwater and fertilizer were being implemented to transform the desert into rich, fertile farmland. Check out episode 135, Pyramid Terraforming, for more detail on that process. And in episode 44, additional applications for ammonium bicarbonate were presented, including as a leavening agent in the baking industry, in the manufacturing of pharmaceuticals and cosmetics, in the production of ceramics and plasters, and processing leather. So we have a compound that can not only be used as fertilizer, specifically in this case, a solid compound fertilizer, which as opposed to aqueous ammonia, the solid compound can be easily stored, transported, and applied to crops, and also versatile in other industries, like creating ceramics and plasters and the baking industry. But ammonium bicarbonate has two other applications that are directly related to the topic at hand here on the channel, ancient industrial scale chemistry. The first being the production of highly porous activated carbon, a substance and concept that was first introduced back in episode 86 regarding the function of the Gizr El Mudir water purification facility, and second, for the manufacture of highly porous catalyst material, a process that creates materials with exponentially increased surface area, maximizing catalyst efficacy. So now that the value and applications for this product have been established, let's move on to how the system works. The Bent Pyramid of Dashur is by far the most complex reaction system that will be discussed in this series, surpassing even the function of the Great Pyramid in the diversity of its mechanisms of operation, with some of the most spectacular engineering featured in all of these structures, which, in my opinion, is one of the greatest travesties and fallacious claims about the conventional storyline that is associated with the Bent Pyramid as some sort of architectural failure. The Bent Pyramid of Dashur is a masterpiece, designed with components ranging from the external reservoir and inlet system, the satellite pyramid hydraulic press, the western valve mechanisms, and the internal reaction chamber system a sequence of two chambers linked by a connecting distribution and cooling passage. Here we have the upper primary reaction chamber and here the lower separation and extraction chambers. This diagram here showing a close up of the primary reactor and this one detailing the configuration of the lower separation chamber system, all of which will be discussed extensively in this series. So. Let's start with the chemical reaction sequence. The production of ammonium bicarbonate is a relatively simple process that involves the percolation of carbon dioxide gas through an aqueous ammonia solution, a reaction that requires two major components, a primary reactor where the ammonium bicarbonate is created and a separation chamber where the solid compound is extracted from the solution. With a quick overview, of the reaction here. First, the reaction itself. The core reaction is carbon dioxide plus ammonia plus water equals ammonium bicarbonate. Second, dissolving the solution. Anhydrous ammonia is typically dissolved into water to create an ammonia solution. Well, in this case, we already have a prepared aqueous ammonia solution coming directly from the red pyramid. Next, the carbon dioxide injection. Carbon dioxide gas is then introduced into the ammonia solution. And we have a source of carbon dioxide gas that was produced as a byproduct of the red pyramid ammonia manufacturing process that was removed from the system in the secondary air reformer. Next, precipitation. As the carbon dioxide reacts with ammonia, ammonium bicarbonate forms and precipitates out of the solution as a white crystalline powder. And finally, separation and drying. The precipitated ammonium bicarbonate is then separated from the solution and dried. So within the bent pyramid, it would be expected that there are two separate systems. The first one for creating the ammonium bicarbonate reaction and the second for the separation of the solid ammonium bicarbonate product. 
And this is exactly what we have within the bent pyramid with the upper primary reaction chamber and the lower separation and extraction chambers. So like I said before, this is a very simple process that can be done at ambient temperature and pressure where the carbon dioxide gas is percolated up through the aqueous ammonia solution. And just as I mentioned in episode 158, that carbon dioxide is a byproduct from the ammonia process of the red pyramid that was extracted from the system in the second stage of the reaction sequence within the air reformer. Now, as presented in episode 161, the bent pyramid is configured with an external reservoir that is filled with water which will not be applicable at this stage of the reaction, but it will be coming up soon. And also remember from many previous episodes that what we see today inside the primary reaction chamber, this highly eroded reaction vault is not the original design. The upper chamber of the bent pyramid was engineered with a pristine tiered upper vault, exactly like what we see in the red pyramid that, according to the conventional story, was gradually destroyed intentionally as the dynastic era platform was erected inside of the chamber. Another blatant fallacy created to explain the anomalies of the bent pyramid, most recently explained in episode 145. This video is a must watch, by the way, if you haven't seen it yet. And as extensively documented in Sunday Site Visit 24, inside the primary reaction chamber of the bent pyramid. Now, within the chamber, of course, we have an inlet shaft. As you can see here, in the southwest corner of the chamber, from some original excavation photos taken in the 1940s. And looking down into this inlet shaft, this image courtesy of my colleagues at the Acida Project. All right, everyone, I hope you're enjoying the video and please remember to subscribe if you're interested in the function of the Egyptian pyramids and other ancient structures from around the world. If you want to help support the channel and get access to exclusive research content, check out the members only channel now up to 25 absolute banger videos. We also have three other channels, Egyptian Trash Cats, the best channel on YouTube, Let's Go with Lex and G, and my wife Alexa's channel, Ancient Odysseys. And if you're interested in joining for a tour in Egypt, please send me an email to contact at thelandofchem.com, subject line 2025 Egypt tour, links to everything in the video description below. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, thank you all so much for the support. Now, back to the video. All right, now, so we have our upper primary reaction chamber here with the inlet shaft in the southwest corner. And at this stage in the reaction, valve number one is closed. And if you're new to the channel, check out episode 39, the Bent Pyramid Satellite Hydraulic Press and Sunday Site Visit 23 regarding the function of the satellite pyramid and the hydraulic press mechanism that controls the valves inside of the pyramid structure. More on this coming up later in the series. Now, let's remove all of this dynastic era platform, which was never part of the original chamber. All right, much better. And just add some form back into the chamber here to make it a bit easier to see what's going on. All right, nice. So now we initiate the reaction sequence by introducing the aqueous ammonia solution into the primary reactor, gradually filling the chamber. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'll be explaining how this exact same sequence may have also rendered urea but for today, we will stick with the simplest reaction, filling the chamber, and then introducing the carbon dioxide gas, which will percolate or bubble up through the aqueous ammonia solution. And as more gas fills the solution, the reaction will proceed according to the following formula. Again, ammonia plus carbon dioxide plus water equals ammonium bicarbonate, a reaction that will begin to transform our aqueous, water-based ammonia solution and the gaseous carbon dioxide into solid ammonium bicarbonate. This is step number one. So now, let's run the reaction sequence without narration so you can see the system in operation. Let's go.
All right, everyone, that is it for today's video. This was episode 167, The Function of the Bent Pyramid, part one. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And in the next episode in the series, an expedition to the Giza Plateau to investigate up close the new data presented by the SAR team revealing the configuration of the Osiris shaft. This is an episode you do not want to miss. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to The Land of Chem here on YouTube. If you're interested in the technology of an ancient civilization utilizing physics and chemistry and the function of the Egyptian pyramids and other ancient structures from across the world, if you want to help support the channel and get access to exclusive research content, check out the Land of Chem members only channel and thelandofchem.com. If you want to pick up a copy of the book or grab some merch, links in the video description below. If you want to follow me on Instagram or on X, my handle is at the Land of Chem. Also, don't forget, after you finish watching this video, please go subscribe to our three other channels, Ancient Odysseys, Let's Go with Lex and G, and the best channel on YouTube, Egyptian Trash Cats. All you cat lovers out there, ladies and gentlemen, as always, thank you all so much for the support. I think that is it for today's episode. So I will see you. Next time. Yo, are you still watching this? Please subscribe to the Land of Chem here on YouTube and click that little notification button. New videos coming out every single week. And check out this other episode. Come on, do it. Do it now.